Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm okay. And you? I'm fine too. Okay. Yes, I'm okay. Today we had some rain, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about the rain in your place? Uh, Is it raining? No. No? It's, it's okay. lovely. It's lovely. Okay. Hello, Giovanni. Hello, Carlos Roberto. <laughs> Hi. Are you in your job? Okay. Okay. Hello, Carla. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. What about you? Okay. Are you okay? Are you great? So, so. Like me? Oh, okay. So, so like, like a Maui elote. <laughs> okay. Why is that? Why? Because of the vaccine? Why do you feel like that? Are you tired, Carla? Hello, teacher. Are you tired or why do you feel so, so? Oh. Uh, why? Well, well, al is moderna. Vaccine uh, moderna. Oh, okay. So you you had your vaccine. Yes. You got a, vac a vaccination ten, uh, two days ago, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. I hope you feel well soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Edwin. How are you doing? How was your day today? Hello, teacher. Hello, how was your day today? It's very nice. Okay, good, good. Yes. Okay, well guys, we're gonna start because we have a lot to do tonight. So we have to take the attendance to start. So let me go there and we are going to, please turn on your cameras and also please say present when you listen to your name, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Presente. Ok. Um, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas Present teacher Giovanni El Alexander Pineda Romero Present teacher Ok uh, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez Present teacher Ok Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Que Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Ok. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Nancy Iveto Barrivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, there we are. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see, I'm seeing over there Carlos Eduardo. One second, I'm going to check him uh, in. Yes. Okay. Uh, who else? I think we are okay. Okay, people, today we have a topic that it's kind of interesting and kind of, um, it's not difficult, but we have to open our minds because we have only one verb to say that, okay? And in English, we can use two, two different ones, even though they are different, um, might be, they could be indifferent. So we have to open our minds, okay? And the modal verbs for today are may and might. May and might. So let me share the screen with you, please. I'm going to open these things. Well, they are open, but... Okay, here we go. The topic for today is how to use may and might. May and might. These are modal verbs, modal verbs. It means that they helps, uh, I mean, they help us to uh, modify the verb, okay, to modify the verb. So let's go and see. What's our goal tonight? Our goal, our objective is that you Uh, you will be able to prepare a short conversation in which you will be showing dissatisfaction about a product that you received or bought in a hypo hypothetical conversation, hypothetical, okay? So we have to learn a little how to use may, how to use my to express things that we could do in a situation. In this case, we are talking about an adverse event or adverse event, okay? En, un, en una situación adversa, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacer? Eh, pos, posibilidades de qué hacer en un momento en que nos encontramos con um, alguien insatisfecho o que usted mismo está insatisfecho. En ese contexto vamos a estudiar el uso de may and might. Okay, en ese contexto. Vamos a ver entonces. Let's look at our agenda tonight. Okay. Our agenda. Our agenda for tonight is that we are going to make a little feedback about can and could. So we have to finish the written exercises that we have in our manuals. Then, well, we read our class objective already, objective. So our goal is done over there. So then we are having a short briefing about may and might, may and might. We are going to explain when to use may, and when to use might, okay? And how, okay, what's the grammatical structure? So we have to take note, note about that. Then we are having some written activities in our manuals and then we are going to create this conversation that I was talking about in our uh, objective to express dissatisfaction, okay? Dissatisfaction the satisfaction, right? Okay, one second. This thing moves and moves. Okay, then let's start with our uh, feedback, okay? With our feedback, we're going to our manuals. 
there we have a little conversation to remember how to use can and could. A ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Ya ahorita ya hablé bastante, ahora es su turno. Vamos a ver. We need to make a little feedback about can and could. When do we use can and when do we use could? Two modal verbs in this case. Mm -hmm. When? Maybe, teacher, maybe it's more polite. Uh -huh. Using a very polite language. But what is the purpose? What is the purpose when we use can and could? What they are useful for? ¿Para qué los usamos? Three things. Do you remember? Question. Uh huh. Records, online, uh -huh. information. Okay. Requesting politely, offering politely, and asking for information. Okay. Asking for information and uh, requesting that someone do anything or something for you in a very polite manner, okay? If we're talking about requests, we are talking about questions. Giovanni said questions, okay? What is the grammatical structure when we use can and could? ¿Cuál es la estructura gramatical de la pregunta cuando utilizamos can or could? Can more uh -huh. subject, more okay. object, uh, uh, verb. Okay. Can plus the subject and after the subject. Verb. The verb. Okay. The verb. Mm -hmm. And then and compliment. Compliment. the complement, okay? And don't forget to write the question mark, okay? So it's a question. But those are with the grammatical structure for direct questions. Direct questions. Remember that? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una direct question y una information question? What's the difference between them? The answer, right? The answer. For example, if I ask in a direct question, what is the kind of answer that I am expecting for? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería los tipos de respuesta que espero cuando yo hago una pregunta directa? Yes or no. Correct. There you are. And when I ask for information, then you can explain what they are requesting for. For example, if I use where, we talk about a place. Uh, if I ask when, then I'm talking about time, right? When I ask why, what am I expecting for as an answer? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué espero yo cuando pregunto why? Reason. Yes, a reason, a reason. And usually we say because, right? In the answer, we usually say because. Okay, now we remember that we are going to our manuals and our manuals, we have a conversation using can and could in a very polite manner. This is a conversation between um, a representative from a company and a customer, okay? So let's see it. Let's look at the structures. Let's look at the, uh, how do they use, how do they use um, these modal verbs, 
Let's remember that because we need to practice can and could. Remember, asking for information, it's one of the uses. Another is for permission. Another is for requesting politely. Okay, so let's read it. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Oh, thanks. Uh, the warranty of it is for blah, 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 right? Okay, let's see. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Questions? Feet. Uh huh. Cubic. What is it? Cubic feet. Pies cubicos. Feet. Cubic. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Uh huh. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Mm -hmm. We are talking about capacity. Capacity is. It's a feature, right? It's a feature of this pro washer machine. Uh, what is the product? What do you think is is the product? Machine. Washer machine. A washer machine, yes, yes. Okay, let's read it again. Thanks so much for calling, Linda speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda, could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 uh, cubic feet, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see, can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Oh, thanks. Uh, the warranty of it is for and blah, 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 right? Okay, let's start. You are going to practice this conversation, okay? But also, also, you are going to answer this pair work, okay? This pair work, correct? We are going to the breakout rooms to do that feedback and just one second, okay? Just one second. Oops. What do you think, what do you think you can add or explain about the warranty to this customer, okay? Veamos cómo va a ser la actividad. La actividad es que van a practicar la conversación y al final ven que hay unos puntos suspensivos. Ustedes van a agregar y decir acerca de la garantía de ese producto algo, ¿ok? For example, how much does, how long do it lasts if they have to pay an extra charge for the warranty or maybe if uh, they have a refund or you can invent, okay? You can say anything about the warranty, okay? Eso es parte de la actividad. Y la segunda es que contesten el pair work, okay? Nos vamos al pair work. Nos vamos al breakout room. Preguntas para que puedan trabajar. No preguntas. Teacher, disculpe. Ajá. Eso estaba en el manual, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, es la Thank página. You. It's tw uh, page 21. Page 21. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to create the, the rooms. Okay, Wendy, no problem. I'm going to change you to another, okay? There you are. Okay. 
Okay, there you are. You are in the third one. Can you listen to me? Yes, I can hear you. Look, guys, okay, you. Giovanni, Carlos, Wendy is not able to participate. So she's going to stay there, but after she's going uh, in the main room, she's going to work. But right now she can't, okay? Just listen. Right? Just the two of, yes, yes, okay. just listening. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Let's practice, okay. Who are you? Okay, uh, Linda and Juan, okay. Me, Linda, you, Juan. Okay, okay. well done. Let's okay. go. So much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 qubit feet, a turbo processor, and intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Sure, can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for uh, one year. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey. Okay, uh, again? Okay, yes, continue okay. working, guys. I'm going to another okay. room, okay? You are doing thank a you, very teacher. good job. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Linda, he, he speak how I can, I can... Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening, Ana Delmi. Estamos en uh, las salas de práctica. Le voy a, la voy a enviar a una sala, okay? Okay, solo que estoy algo mal de la garganta. Así okay. que... O si no he escrito, se lo voy a hacer. Ok, está bien, está bien. Ok, envíeme entonces. Sí, por favor. Por qué? Why? Because or the washing machine, not because that warranty. Don't or can cannot give a information that warranty. Hi, teacher. Can't. Hello. How are you doing? Because I'm oh, fine. Go. Because cannot give information. Information about the word. <laughs> Teacher, oh, the the the, 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 the tree is uh, is impolite because. Se quiere hacer el loco. <laughs> the... uh, who, Linda? Uh, sí. Yes. 
Juan. Why do you think so? Are the customer and the agent polite or are, are they impolite? Um, polite, but uh, don't don't give the information. <laughs> For me, it's impolite. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, it's uh, this conversation. It's a very polite conversation. They are using polite uh, language. Okay, they are ah, okay. requesting politely, using can, using could. Okay, and and direct thing instead of giving orders. Right, give me, um, give me the information about this thing without saying, "Can mm. you please?" Right, or "Could you ah, okay. please?" Yeah, or for example, they say, uh, "Hey, what about the the warranty?" Right. Is different if you say, ah, okay. can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I use the count and call in your conversation. Because the answer is, or the conversation is polite or agradable. Uh, because they are requesting politely, maybe because they are using a polite language. Ah, politely. Use polite language. Okay. Use. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to another room, so please continue working, okay? Thanks. Thank you, teacher. There you are. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, Nancy? Hello, Nancy. Hello, teacher. Okay, we are in an activity. We are in a conversation, um, making a feedback of can and could. Okay, so um, they are working in the page 21 of the manual. Okay, hay una conversación en el manual, page 21. So I'm going to send you to a uh, to, uh, group, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. <laughs> okay, there you are. No aparece nada. Okay. If for two years, if for a flip in this two years, in a police, if you can tell me a a p double p, uh huh, a p p. <laughs> that is why Edwin didn't want to say it. <laughs> it's a double P. <laughs> okay. L. L. Uh -huh. L. Y. I. 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 P L I E S Apples Apples ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Apples Please In Appliance Appliance uh -huh. Appliance Only Appliance Only Appliance. In In, in oh, Manufacturing oh, oh. oh Okay Wait Wait No The word that you were looking for is apply Right? Apply. Apply. Ajá. Apply. Pero hey. está, pero está, eh, you want to say it applies. Oh, sí. Is it? It applies. It applies. And it applies. A warranty is for two years in apply, applies in the perfectos de fabrica only. Manufacturer efforts. 
Okay, then uh -huh. it is applies. Yes. Yes, it is A-P-P-L-I-E-S. Yeah. A-P-P-L, I'm sorry. L-I-E-S. I-E-S. Okay. Applies only, on, only for my manufacturing. Factory. Only manufacturers defects. Uh, the, the? defects 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 only defects. okay defects ah, defects ya lleva, ya only al sí. uh -huh. before two years okay guys defects. I'm going to another room continue yes. working okay, okay. okay. thank you teacher only for manufacturing defects. And he says that he has a capacity of 5.2, a turbo processor, and a teclado. Yes, she is describing the Pro washer. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hello, I didn't teacher. say hello. <laughs> hello, teacher. Yeah, she, Linda is describing the features. Do you remember the characteristics of that uh, pro washer machine, right? It's uh what product is it? It's a washer machine. Okay. It says pro washer es como el modelo, ¿eh? el nombre de... uh, Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh... What does that to call? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Sí. Cubic feet. Sorry. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Cubic. Cubic feet. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Capacidad de y pero pero excuse me, excuse me. <ríe> eh, ¿Qué es lo que están comprando en sí? No entiendo. ¿Qué es lo que quiere comprar él? Ah, uh, el producto se llama Pro Washer. Uh -huh. What is the product? ¿Qué podría ser el producto que se llame Pro Washer? Una lavadora. Yes. Una lavadora. Yes. A washer machine. A washer machine. Lavadora se dice washer machine. Machine. Oh. Machine. Yes. Okay. Washer machine. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Linda is describing the features of a washer machine. Mm. Oh. Okay. La, la question, what does one want to buy? Uh -huh. Entonces la respuesta sería, Juan does one to washer machine? Eh, Juan wants, okay. Juan wants to buy a washer machine. Para responder ya no le ponemos das, sino que conjugamos el verbo, ¿verdad? Que es want. Entonces, como es tercera persona, Juan wants, con letra S al final, ¿verdad? Juan wants. To buy, buy. Uh -huh. washer, sería pro, pro washer. Un pro washer. O washer machine. Es que pro washer es el nombre, la, la ajá, como decir, el estilo, ¿verdad? La marca de lo que está comprando. Pero ah, el producto yeah. es una lavadora. Ah, ok, ok. 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 The number two, what question can you say in, in tears of repeat? Um, ¿Qué, 
Can you give me information about the warranty? Esa es la que le pide que repita. Can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, guys, continue working. I'm going to another room, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.